Hello, this is Deb and happy Friday. This is June 16th and it is time for a new updated guide of the Find Calm Here website. So I am happy to share some new resources with you today. So I'm going to just go over some new changes to the Find Calm Here website for you. Uh, just to let you know, there's some new tabs at the top. There's a start here button, which I had went over in the previous uh, version. Um, there's now a resources tab. Uh, there's a photography and art tab, and there's a work with Deb tab. So I'm going to go through each one of these tabs and just show you a couple different options here. The start tab, start here tab, if you click on start here, whether you're on the mobile version or on the desktop version, you're going to land on this page. And this is where the video will be updated here um, of this video that I'm recording now. <laughs> I've added some more, um, a bit, a bit more about who I am and what I do. So um, there is an about section under the start here, and there's a contact section as well. But I'll just let you know that I do have a place for you to view the Calm Gallery as well as a new tech tools section. So if you click on this button, it'll show you that I have a new section for recommended tech tools. This has been something that people have asked me about for a number of years now. And um, I'm finally kind of getting back to um, putting this up. I had it somewhere else listed on the website, but this is a new place for it. So if you are uh, just starting out in business, this is a great resource for you to find some tech tools if you're looking to start a business. So I use uh, Bluehost for website hosting and I use WordPress. Uh, that's what my website is built on. I use Elementor to design the website that I've built. It's a no graphic design tool. Um, I use uh, Mighty Networks to build my community and I use Bonsai, which is one of my favorite tools for um, organization and business. Uh, you can get a free trial with my links here. And so check out these tools if you find that they might be um, something that you're looking for support. I also have a link to the Grammarly, which is the AI automated, the AI writing support, uh, which makes writing a little bit easier, as well as ConvertKit for email marketing, um, Canva for design tools, and TidyCal for uh, calendar booking. So I'll be adding more of these. This is Podmatch for guest booking and Buzzsprout for podcasting. I'll be adding more resources on this tools page. So um, you can either get there from the start here, or if you check on, uh, if you look at the resources section. So that's been added to start here. And then I did add a little bit to these different tabs in the choose your own adventure section. I'll just go through those briefly. Um, there's different um, areas here for you to kind of choose your own adventure. So uh, if you're thinking about starting a business, I have resources here. I've updated this page a bit to allow you to see some more articles and um, more tools. Uh, these are podcast episodes and some blog posts that I've written or recorded. And then the uh, other one here is if you're a new community builder, just thinking about starting an online community, or maybe you're running a Facebook group, those kinds of things. Uh, there's some resources here, uh, including um, a podcast interview series that I did with 20 interviews from community builders. And then there's lists of um, some blog posts and some videos here for you. The uh, I'm looking for ideas for engagement. If you are re running a community currently and you are feeling like your community is crickets right now, um, this might be a good page for you. Uh, there are some really great resources here. There's a tech tool tools checklist, uh, engagement ideas, um, pricing your community offer. I've got some different videos and workshops, uh, recordings from when the community was, when the Find Calm Here community was open. So you'll get to benefit from all of those podcasts and interviews. Then um, if you know me from photography, so I do uh, have a photography business. I had a photography business for 10 years in central Pennsylvania. And my artwork is actually up at a convention center in uh, the Camp Hill area at the Penn Harris Hotel. Um, so if you are in the central Pennsylvania area and find yourself at that hotel, uh, if you go to the convention center or if you're in the hotel room, you might be seeing my photographs. Um, but you can check out my current artwork that's uh, available for purchase in my artist studio. Uh, as well, um, maybe you're looking for resources around finding calm. So uh, this is a library. Here's a couple of 
communities that I found that really valuable um, in my own personal journey. And then here are the recordings from the Find Calm Your Community, which we hosted over 30 virtual workshops in 2020 to help you find calm in daily life on all kinds of different topics. So please feel free to dig into those and watch them. Uh, the other uh, aspect here is about community consulting. And since I have started doing community consulting over the past few years, there have been people that reach out in um, asking me about it. So uh, I put together um, some resources at the bottom here. Uh, if you uh, are thinking you might want to look into being a community builder, uh, that's where you might want to get started. If you are already a community consultant, there is a group that I'm a part of called the Community Consultant Collective. You can learn more about that there. So I will uh, say I customized this website a little bit nicer. I've been working on a little bit uh, better of a look there. The resources tab, if you click on resources, you'll see that there is now um, a section here for networking. Um, I've been volunteering as a facilitator for the network incubator for about a year and a half. Uh, I haven't promoted this at all, but I'm deciding now I wanted to put this on my website and, and let you know about it so that if you have a question in regards to either organization or productivity or community building or your business, um, you can actually join this call for free once a month and you can meet with me for free um, during a virtual group session I host um, in this group. So you can click here to learn more about that networking opportunity. You can meet lots of other business owners. There's tons of amazing resources and they're based out of Richmond, Virginia. So if you are in the Richmond, Virginia area, they do have in-person uh, meeting. This is a hybrid community. And so they have an in-person meeting. And, and then we also have a virtual meetup. Um, in addition, I have a medium blog that um, I've been publishing pretty regularly. So if you are not already subscribed to my medium blog, this is giving you the opportunity to do that. The wait list for the creator to community builder book is open. And uh, I would encourage you if you are interested in being a part of that cohort to sign up there to join the wait list. And as soon as the um, book is available uh, for advanced readers, you will be notified if you're on that list. So, and then the exciting new thing <laughs> that I'm going to be working on building in the next, um, building more of in the next um, few months is the Find Calm Here shop. So I now have a Find Calm Here store where you can buy mugs and sweatshirts and hoodies and t-shirts or even a uh, onesie with the Find Calm Here logo or uh, with uh with a uh, fine comb here logo on it. So um, there are some products here listed. Uh, there's a hat, t-shirts. I'm gonna add more things as I design more things, there will be more to come. So uh, this is an exciting new thing that I am trying uh, to create some excitement around for the new book. So I wanted to share the new shop with you. So that's that. And uh, let's see. Oh, and then I also wanted to share with you the uh, support. So if you are uh, watching this and really enjoying the content that I've done over the past few years and don't either aren't ready to hire me or um, or just want to say thank you. <laughs> You can click here and you can show me your support um, by buying me a cup of coffee. And I'm going to tell you, this book project has been quite the effort. I have really um, struggled with covering the costs of this book. So anything, honestly, would be helpful here. So if you feel so in your heart to uh, support me, that is that is that opportunity there. And then the... Um, so those are all the tabs with the resources. The photography and art tab ha also has a link to the creator shop and the artist studio. And then it also has a link to my photography artwork. So it goes in a little bit more depth around my background and experience. I have now have um, some of my artwork. You can actually purchase digital downloads of my photography. A few, a few photographs are listed on my photography page on Behance. Um, if you, uh, find that you would like 
one of these photographs that are not listed here, uh, you can go to Adobe Stock and, and see the rest of my work is on Adobe Stock. If there's something that you want over there, um, I can always certainly move it over to the assets uh, tab and make it available for download. I, it's just a matter of taking the time to uh, build these kinds of systems and you know upload these um, photographs. And that just takes a lot of time. So over the past uh, six months, I have been transitioning uh, my old website to these new websites. So just wanted to let you know about some photography, fun things that I've been working on um, sharing with you. And so you can get that link from that page as well. And then the other link here is if you are located in central Pennsylvania, there is uh, a tab here to show you my photography experience. I do love event photography and that is something I still enjoy doing. I am a part of a theater troupe and so I've photographed them. I've done musician photographs. And uh, so if you have an event that you think you'd like to hire me for, um, that is where you can find uh, the way to contact me. And then also um, the, the tab work with me has um, ideal member chats, community coaching, um, strategy with Deb and business coaching and UMAP. And then next week, I'm going to have a new opportunity on there that I will share with you about a new way to work with me um, that I'm really excited about, but I will tell you that next week. Um, so if there's any questions that you have, let me know. I am going to share that I'm excited that we're celebrating Pride Month. So I have that on, on my website and um, on the main page. Oh, last thing. Sorry. Almost forgot to say this. <laughs> there is an event this month and on the 29th of June, I will be um, joining the community leaders Institute and the community consultants collective and on a panel where we're going to be talking about when to hire a consultant. So if you uh, aren't sure if it, if it's a good time to hire a consultant, or maybe you just want to learn about how I work and, um, sign up, register, and I hope to see you there. Um, so excited about those new developments on the website. If you have any questions, um, you can reach out to me. There's a contact button right here. And if you click on it, it'll go right to an inbox and you can just send me an email. Um, and that's, that's literally the best way to be in contact with me. And you can also book a call with me um, on any of these other pages with my calendar. So um, if you see here, if you go to um, one of the other options there, you'll see that you can um, book a call with me. In the about section, I did update this a little bit too, to add some of my background in as a photographer and a photojournalist, which was my background before I was a community builder. So with that said, I am going to end this today. And uh, this is a longer video than I typically record, but I wanted to just show you all the good stuff uh, that's happening on the Find Calm Here website because there's just, oh, one more thing, one more thing. All right, one more thing. Go back. There's this blog that I have here and I'm going to tell you, there's just so many great things that I've been thinking about recently. And one of them is this podcast, We Can Do Hard Things. So shout out to We Can Do Hard Things podcast. It's been one of my favorite podcasts of this. It has been the favorite podcast of this year for me. And so um, I encourage you to, if you don't get anything else from this video, check out just this blog post, Happiness Is It Possible, that I wrote yesterday, because at the bottom, it has this comparison as the thief of joy. It's a, it's a little email that my friend David wrote to me, to me, he sent it to me and he sent it to other people, but he has this video at the bottom and it's such a great video. So, um, I would just recommend if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, it's, that's the blog. I'm going to add this as a blog bite. So I'm making the video also a blog bite for the day. Um, thank you. Have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, I hope to talk with you soon. If if you are uh, working on a business, a community, or even if you're just kind of like stuck, um, send me an email because I'm really curious. Um, maybe if there's a way I can help you or connect you with somebody, then maybe I know. So let me know. See ya.